and all in all she's having problems just twisting right in this area and that's fine. I'm just hooking in the back. I'm just getting, I'm just saying to turn the hips, this has to work, this has to work, this has to work. That's all I'm showing her brain at this moment. So now I'm going back to where there, I felt that there were more of an issue. I'm always still working on the twist, it's just at a different perspective. Someone that's never crawled, this relationship is going to be really awkward, very taut, because to crawl, the pelvis has to have that articulation. If you've never crawled, then that conversation, especially through here, is never developed. Same thing too, now feel how just to lie down now, the body wants to be able to take the tush. See how nicely her foot's just coming out. And go into lying. And I can rotate back. Nice and slow. She has to learn how to breathe. She has to learn how to move the neck. Move the knees. Move the... So again... I always make it want someone to feel like, you know, like if water was just coming up, you know, in that ocean beach, that nice slow. But she's also learning this is lying down. This is, again, it's neutral to her brain. She's lying down. She's lying down. So, this is, if, if you can't do this, this is where people go out and spend $2,000 on a mattress and blame it on the mattress and the pillow. Just that little bit of sinking, that means the back had to let out, the rib cage let out a little bit. I'll do it again. See now how I can just easily just glide her ribs. I'm concerned more about the ribs being able to expand. This is really important to women too because of just carrying babies. Babies shove the ribs all the way up this way. So now here you can really feel, and it's more so in this case because of what's going on in her foot. So in other words, between the tension here, here, and here, it's like she's got tight abs and restricting me from doing something like this. Again, we have 26 bones in our feet. It just would be like having tight abs. And here again, I'm looking for how the spine just wants to sway down to allow if the spine doesn't want to move and you're asking for the arm to come back where's it going to go the spine everything needs to to articulate around that and sometimes just explaining that 
makes people want to do the work on their own. So, yeah. So put your arm wherever it's comfortable. And now I can go back. And that's all moving. And there, that's where she's throwing it. See, by extending out here, going up to the shoulder, then I know she can throw a ball again. Now I'm doing the same thing what I do with your arms is laying her fall. And now, what a difference. Run a little bit too fast there. So just to bring it down. That's so much nicer. 